Hey, this is Jay from Encodian. So again, we're going to continue our series on utility actions. And today we're going to have a look at how to split text. So I've got a flow here. I'm just going to click on it and I've configured the trigger uh, to take a text value, which is the value that we're going to split, and then a split value, which is the value we're going to split on. So this could be a character, it could be a white space, um, it could be a word or a paragraph, whatever it might be, whatever it is that you want to split on. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to add in the encoding utility action. So theoretically, if I type split, it will come up and it does. So we've got the split text action even. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pass in uh, the required parameters. So for the text, we're going to select the text value coming from the trigger. And for the value we're going to split on, again, we can select this from the trigger. So we've got split value. And We've got some configuration options here, which I'll quickly run through. So split on means whether I'm going to split on all instances of the split value. So for example, if I found the word and 15 times in this text value, then it's going to split 15 times on each instance. I could select first, in which case it would split only on the first instance. So you'd get an array of two strings back. Likewise, you can select last and it will split on the last instance of and. For this demo, I'm just going to leave it as, as all. Uh, the other two option, options I've got, I've got trim values, which simply means that the, the text values that are split from the text value, um, we can trim them, i.e. remove white space from the start and end of those strings. Um, equally well, there's another option here called remove empty values. What this will do, if there's any... Um, values that are in the array after the string has been, sorry, the text value has been split, um, it will remove anything that's empty. So you don't get any empty values in your array. Um, so I just tend, typically you'd leave those two at the, at the end on yes, but you can turn them off if you wish to. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add a SharePoint create item action just to show how we're going to work with the array of strings that go, the array of text values even that comes back from this utility split text action. So what I want to do is I want to drop them into this SharePoint list here. Um, so to do that, I'm going to add in uh, the create item action. Uh, there we go. And I'm just going to configure this with there we go and I'm going to select the list name demo split values now I'm going to save the flow at this stage the reason for this I may as well demonstrate it there is a bug with the um, with the new design unfortunately so I'll, I'll show you what that looks like if I go to show all and select title actually I can just click show all even and I select the result item so the, the property that comes back from utility split text is called result. Result is an array of, uh, of, of text values and result item is showing because so it knows it's an array. So if I select that, what will happen? It'll automatically pop create item into an array and you can see that's result item and on the for each action, I should see result. Now, I'm just going to click save and I'm going to show you the problem. Um, if I run this now, it will fail. Um, let's just do that. Let's just run it. Let's do text, run it manually. I need to give it some a text uh, value, which I've got one here. And I'm going to say split on this value. I'll just run this through as an example because I know it's going to fail. Uh, okay, so it's saying it's split on the body result as type null, but it's not. So if I look on the split action, you can see there is, um, sorry, in the outputs, we'll see here that scroll down the body there is the array of strings that we're expecting back to the split it's simply because of this bug with the new designer so if i just click this go back into edit you'll notice on the for each it looks right it looks like it's result and it looks like we've got current item there or result item if i go out of the new designer you'll see that actually that's not what's been configured. <laughs> so click on for each here, you can see it's got this body body um, result, which is actually not what it should be. So if I just take this out and I can take the result item out and I'll just get it to regenerate this properly, click delete. And again, we're gonna select the result item from the utility split text and it will populate it. That is now configured correctly. Okay and that will work.
so I can I should be able to pop back into the new designer actually. So let's give that a let's give that a try. Uh, let's test our flow. Again, we can take a little bit more notice of the text value that I'm going to split this time. So let's do a, a manual split. You'll notice inside this string I've got here, I've got various instances of this word split, and that's what I want to split on. So I'm going to get one, two, three, and about four strings come back, and I can run this flow down. That should run through without issue. Yeah, there we go. So you can see there is a, a bit of bug in that new designer, one of many, unfortunately, for the moment, but not forgetting that that new designer is preview. So to be expected, you're going to pick up the odd issue. So if I jump back into the SharePoint list and just give that a refresh, I should see those four items that have been added into that list. Oh, just to give that a refresh a moment. And there we go. Those are those four items that we're expecting to be added into the list. Um, hopefully that gives you um, a good example of how to work with the uh, split text action. As ever, if you have any technical questions, please email support at encoding.com. But don't forget to check out the documentation at support.encoding.com as well.